Now, the name Zippo is synonymous with the company's iconic lighters, but now Zippo is looking to expand its product lineup to include knives, collectible knives, fashion accessories, and much more. Joining us now for a CEO sit-down is Greg Booth. He's the chief executive of Zippo. Good to have you with us, Greg. Oh, very nice to be you here. Know, when Thank I shook you. your hand, your hand was extra warm. <laughs> and, and I got to think it was because of this new line of hand warmers that Zippo is that coming was part out of it. with. Absolutely. Why did you decide to branch out? Well, there's a great deal of pressure on smoking-related articles and, and uh, so, so forth, and we knew we had to get into some other items, and we wanted to expand the product line, so we've done so. We've, uh, uh, over the last 10 years, have gotten involved in lighters like this. It's a candle lighter for the home and, and lighting candles in the fireplace and so forth. We've got involved in hand warmers, and as I mentioned to you earlier, this is one of the items that we're selling now. And can't keep them in stock. They're selling so well. We're getting involved. Which markets in, are you targeting with that? I mean, is this the outdoor market? The it is the outdoor camping, market. Camping, hunting, camping, fishing. Camping, hunting, the outdoor aficionado. That, that's the, the individual who would be interested in this or uh, somebody going to a, a Jets football game or a Pittsburgh Steelers football game if you're back in our neck of the woods. Uh, great product and like I said, tough to keep in stock. That's the kind of product you'd like to put in the product line. Now, I know that uh, that Zippo uh, recently purchased, I guess it was back in February, you right. made the acquisition of Ronson uh, yes. lighters and, and the Ronson product line. Uh, Zippo is a family run and family owned business. It is. The, uh, how, how, what are the challenges or, or the benefits that come with a specifically family owned uh, entity? Well, I think one of the things that I see as a real benefit, and I've worked for larger corporations in my career, I can walk down the hall and the chairman of the board, who is the current owner of the company, he and I can make decisions fairly quickly. So it's a, it give, makes for a very nimble company, and, and you can make decisions quickly, uh, hopefully effectively, and move on. We've done a lot of great things over the last seven or eight years to include our efficiency. We've reduced our scrap and, and overall made our company far more profitable. And now adding these new products to the product line, give the company new life and moving on to a lifestyle product like the hand warmer or the utility lighters, sunglasses, watches, lifestyle products that we're adding to the product line. Now you, also say, you also have a line of pens, of writing instruments, and, and also uh, you, you also have these cedar uh, chips with fire starters. Fire starters, yeah. Just the, again, uh, in addition to the outdoor product line, something fairly simple, but something very, very well received by our consumer. And uh, so we're, we're heavily involved in in that item as well. Now, how did you come up with the notion that this was the direction you were going to take the company? And I mean, you just come up with the idea that you're going to go after the outdoor market. I mean, was there a marketing? Uh On a number of occasions, we've brought people in from the outside to do market research to say, what does the Zippo brand mean to your consumer, and what products could you extend into if you decided to extend or, or broaden the product line? So lots of research tells us that these are the types of items that consumers could, in fact, relate to and would buy if they were manufactured and marketed by a Zippo Manufacturing Company. So that's what you do first, and then take steps baby steps, a product at a time, introducing them and, and test marketing them. And when they work well, you broaden the, the, the reach. Any, any pressure to go public? I mean, maybe any, any desire to go and become a public listed company? Not at all. Not at all. We You're happy? The grandson of the founder of the company currently owns the business. He's committed to the business, as indicated to us. He's committed not only to the business, but to Made in America. We're going to stay right in Bradford, Pennsylvania. All right. I want to thank you very much. Greg Booth, the chief thank executive you. of uh, Zippo. Um, good for that warm handshake. Yeah, absolutely.